Hey, what's up everyone, Eric here. So I want to do a quick video on different shaker doors. So we got four doors here and they all look very similar. So uh, what's the difference? Okay, so starting with the right hand side here, um, this is what we have, uh, what we call the Whistler door. And the Whistler has a two and three quarter inch style and rail. Uh, in layman's term, it has a two and three quarter inch uh, square frame on the outside. And it has a quarter inch recess panel. So the middle insert in the middle is uh, one quarter inch thick. And if you look at the frame closely enough, we have a small little bevel here. Um, from afar, you actually can't really tell. So I'm gonna zoom back out. So uh, it is only when you look really closely that you see a small bevel there. Um, it's maybe a five degree, I don't even think it's 10 degree um, bevel there. So. We just find that it's a little bit easier to clean. At least that was some of the feedback we had in the past. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> uh, in the middle here, we have the Creekside door. So we're talking about this door right there. And that one is a two and a quarter inch style and rail. So just a little bit skinnier of a frame compared to the Whistler. Um, other than that, uh, we have a middle insert that's a little bit deeper. So that is three eighths of an inch thick instead of a quarter inch thick. Uh, and that is what we call a reverse raised panel door. So if I were to flip this door around, so flipping it around, the sticker is upside down, but <laughs> this is a little bit of a raised panel there versus a flat and recessed door on the right. So um, that's a reverse raised panel. This is just a flat panel door. Uh, and that's what's going to make the price difference between price level three and price level four. So the Whistler on the right is just a little bit uh, more affordable co by comparison. Uh, both of these doors are going to have a small bevel in the corner, uh, in the in inside corner. Uh, up next, we have the Hartford door. Um, right now, the sample happens to be a walnut uh, in a stain, which... Uh, I was hoping to find a paint gray so they all look more similar to each other, but uh, we will disregard the the stain color and the wood species for a minute. So assuming that this was also a painted door, uh, that would be a uh, another step higher. I think it's, uh, if I remember correctly, this would be a price level five um, and it has a three inch wide frame. So the frame is a little bit wider than uh, than the Whistler, uh, definitely wider than, than the quick size. So this is just a re recap real quick. Two and three quarter inch, uh, two and a half inch, and then three inch. So uh, this one also has a reverse raised panel. So basically wider frame, thicker center panel, and that's what's making it a little bit more pricey than the quick size. Uh, and then the Amsterdam door. So the Amsterdam door is the same as the quick size in width. And the only difference is that uh, this has a small bevel, just like the Chris and the Whistler, and this one is a little bit more square. So this is like a 90 degree cut there. Um, that one has a small angle. Uh, again, you can't really see from afar, but that's the difference. And then uh, when we did this, we also went with a shallower recess. So this is maybe a quarter inch, if that. Uh, this one, you can see my fingernail as a reference guide. Uh, this actually recess closer to uh, three eighths of an inch. So just a deeper recess here by comparison. But um, that's about it. Uh, and that should be, uh, if I remember correctly, that should be in principle five as well, along with the Hartford door. So, okay, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, drop a like below, thanks.